yes now i can see you yes now i can see you so very Excellent. good morning uh same to you good morning to actually i was little bit busy that's why i'm just coming too late sorry for wait <clears throat> yeah that's okay that's okay what's keeping you busy early work morning work because in this time the wedding session and uh, i have a wedding in my house so that's why i quite okay. <laughs> you occupied uh, with that yeah sure mm -hmm. so yes yes what right now sorry i'm just saying shall we start for the session sure sure we'll start okay let me start by introducing myself yeah so as you know my yeah as you know my name is shanta i am working as a spoken english trainer i work for an online platform and i live in karnataka which is in south india recently i've started my youtube channel which is english with shanta and i'm working on my channel during my free time as of now but according to my academic credentials i am a software engineer i've completed my engineering in computer science so that's pretty much about me it's your turn now that's a nice of course so uh, first of thank thanks for giving me this opportunity well my name is mansi bashpi as you know that and i belong to kanpur which is located in uttar pradesh and last mm -hmm. year i completed of my master of arts subject of english literature from dayana anglo mahavidyalaya at kanpur university and right now english uh, trainer i have been teaching since 2021 that's all about mm -hmm. me uh, i'm running my youtube channel also is a english dose 27 Okay, right, right. So, how long have you been running your YouTube channel? Uh, and so why? One and a half year. One and a half year. The same time when you started uh, uh, training for English. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay, why did you start training for English, and how how did it all happen? Tell me about your journey, teaching journey. first you know what when i was teaching uh, when i was studying in english then i don't have any idea how to start up and how to conversation with the people even when i joined the institute then i also don't know uh, how to conversation with the people i i have complete my all syllabus i have complete my all vocabulary but i cannot speak a single word from my mouth but when someone gave me opportunity for teaching then on that time i have totally deny because i don't have any experience about the teaching because i also look like a, as a student then how can i teach that the feeling i'm just sure thinking about on that time but someone just give me motivate me i uh, know you have to do this and i think if you can then you can do this so i just started and uh, my demo session was on that time so here is a 25 student when i was giving a uh, my demo so on that the only 10 students are interested for coming in my classes so i i just said to my teacher uh, maybe i cannot do this i cannot handle this but uh, teacher also the senior teacher also said to me no you can do this so that they coming so i just read the topics in my, at my home then i delivered the speech then i teach on that people day by day that the habit i just generated myself now it's no need any book so i have teach and then Then I have study, then teach. So that's the things I am doing. Mm, so you are now you know comfortable doing this. Yeah, now I am comfortable. We can say that a confidence. Even I am also did a lots of mistake in my conversation. But uh, the confidence when you build up in your things, then everything may be a handle. Mm -hmm. Right. So you are currently pursuing BA. Which year? Not I completed. Master of Arts is last year, the twenty two thousand twenty two. last year so so what plans next after your graduation post graduation or I, what do you want government sector also so now i'm trying to just get the job in government sector so english is a part time of time but uh, some you know what the, uh, god what the god wants i think god wants you have to just running your youtube channel or you have to just teach on and and i also enjoy so but uh, my personal opinion is that i really want to join a one a uh, high profile a job in the government sector okay okay you are keeping all the options open yes. all the doors are open you can go any direction no no so not you hmm uh two direction i have selected right now as a one as a speakers and the second English. is yes. government sector but do you also wish to grow your youtube channel even that's an option uh do you want that means you are answering me 
No, no, no. I'm asking you, like, you know, yeah, I'm asking you, do you want to grow your YouTube channel? You can make a full time career with YouTube also. So that is the third option, third option. Yeah, we can say that because the YouTube also want if you have something, then you grow automatically. But if you don't have something, then YouTube also demotivate you because I am using a one half year. So I did not get a lots of effort in from the YouTube. Suddenly my channel got demonetized. Then I just thought, wow, something has happened with me is a good. <laughs> so is your channel no longer active? Are you still posting on your channel? No, I cannot post. Uh, I did not post a regular video in my from the YouTube at the two, three days. Yeah, one week when I just uh, mm -hmm. do the conversation video uh, before I uh, have uh, uploaded in my YouTube channel. But right now I just uh, make uh, my own video and the shorts which entertain the people like uh, English, how to entertain the way because conversation video I have much. Uh, I don't upload it much. Hmm. Congratulations. So it's been quite some time, right? Almost like you say one and a half to two years. So yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. You have any questions? Go ahead. Like a uh, why I, I mean to say you are just doing uh, you are doing job also. Am I right? Yes. Yes. I work as a freelancer. Okay. So what is the need of English? I mean, your uh, where, where your job then needs an English. Yeah. Your perceptions is called you want to speak in English. That's why you were speaking. Is there any reason behind? Uh, there's no specific reason. I know English and I just want to share whatever knowledge I have. So because of this English, I was able to land a job like an online spoken English trainer job. So that is it. I know English and I am teaching and I'm just sharing whatever knowledge I know. And I'm also learning from the opposite person. So it's going on the journey. It's, it's, it's a journey, right? Continuous journey. It's going on. Okay, so uh, do you want to become a famous YouTuber in a YouTube? Who doesn't want to? <laughs> I would say that everybody wants to be famous. But yes, I want to grow on a YouTube. I want to grow my YouTube channel. And, uh, uh, you know, because I am in this phase of life where I need to prove myself to myself. So right sure. now I have the time. I have the time to do that for myself. So that is what I'm trying hard. I'm investing my time in it. And I definitely want to grow my channel. Now, I wouldn't say I want to be famous, but uh, I want to grow my YouTube channel. Yeah, of course, we can just identify, identify ourselves in front of a lot of people. Yeah, I am yes. this. Yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. I think everybody should like think like that. So they can do anything, whatever they want in, in their life. So I mm. think that's I yes, think and you know, there are a lot of learners who need help. But on YouTube, you will get that visibility. You will tell people that you are available to help them or, you know, with whatever help they need in English. So I'm just putting myself out to people. That's very good. OK, so yes. uh, I think what you did in the qualification. Computer science engineering. OK, I mean, no, no, I'm not saying engineering. I mean to be take yeah, MBA, yeah, master, B. whatever. Engineering, engineering, BE. It's B. called Bachelor of Engineering. Yeah. So it is uh, similar to BTEC. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Do during your free time. And you know, uh, you are still young and you are doing your graduation, right? So sometimes does it become overwhelming for you managing YouTube, your studies, and uh, you say you're working as a trainer? So does it get overwhelming sometimes? And how you are managing your routine? Okay, first thing is that uh, if we talk about the masters, so I don't focus in masters. I just uh, gain a degree from the college. That's why I just doing a masters. But if you talk about the my teaching life, how to uh, so I am running this time only two batches in the morning time. So I can manage in morning okay. a very early. so I like the eight to nine and nine to ten. Then I will be free in the whole time. So then I manage my government's exam preparation, how to cover because I totally focus the government sector, how to cover my slavers, how to reach the goal. So that's the thing. So training time, it's a, have passed in the two hours. I have to spend on that time and the whole day I am free. And when the exam oh. is coming from the master of the masters, then I study start in the masters. But I think I have cleared you. I just uh, completed my master in the last year. So now it's done. I am free about from the college. So I'm only 
focus two sectors the government sectors and the speaking sectors sometimes i uh, record a video session also so i just uh, put it the no uh, whatever topics and in my mind that i just record a session and edit the yourself and just post it mm, my, yes. and why do you, mm. yeah yeah and why do you have this liking towards the government sector why do you want to go in that direction i really like it because if someone ask you what are you doing right now then i just want to give the answer no i am in a government sector so that's a give i think something is a special i just thought mm. like that that's why i just think maybe one job i have because youtube is a part time and nobody if you don't become a higher profile in the youtube nobody respect you but if you have your personal and in lifetime you want to because sometimes you getting a lot of viewers sometimes you in decreasing your viewers so your motivation is the low and demotivated the pressure in pressures always happen but in if you have a one secure job then you are able to do anything in your life i think and the you think also future also so that's why i just thought like that one secure job should i should ha uh, have to join and the youtube is a part time mm right so you you are not you were did you go to a physical college offline yeah online so. See, offline you studied offline yeah oh so so that's the reason you were able to manage all these three right youtube yeah. and your training yes and as a child did you always want to do enter the government sector because as children we have a lot of different plans so i had weird plans i wanted to be a dentist i wanted to be a pilot or something some random things but you know suddenly i became an engineer and i don't know how so did you always wanted to join the government sector what plans did you have for yourself uh which types of government sector i want that things you asking to me no no just you know in a professional front from a pro professional point of view you wanted a job in a government sector or you wanted to become something else in your life in your childhood yes. uh in my childhood so you know what in childhood i always think like that i have to become a doctor doctor <laughs> my child but uh, uh, when i uh, grown up then i thought i think doctors no i am not i cannot so because when i just look at the doctor they can do anything whatever they want in their life they can just uh, uh, blood blood they are seizing as sneezing a lot of thing they are doing i cannot do this but i just make the profile mm -hmm. of the doctor so in since my child I, I i think like that but now it is doctor's dream is gone through for second yeah. dream i just uh, now i have to become a fashion designer then i just uh, someone just uh, told me you have to just uh, use your needle and you have to just do a very uh, dexterous work in your field then i just thought like no i cannot do this because i really don't like how to stitches the cloth how to this things but uh, the mm. name of the designer that was, that is very good so i just thought no i have to become a fashion designer but after enter somebody suggest me i think you should use your mind because the logical and the think is for your good and you should use your mind that this sector then i just i am just trying if god wants so of course i will be become but uh, then youtube also the last option <laughs> and when when are your exams due for this government sector uh abhi last uh, october i have to give a one exam the result is pending i'm waiting my result okay 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 so any further exams also are uh, pending or you are just waiting for the result and uh, i am waiting for result and waiting for next vacancies also because okay, i particular okay. subject is stenography so when any form is come from the stenographer then i just filled it otherwise no i am not using only i just want a government sector any sector no i am particular preparation of any subjects any uh, stream so i just covering hmm so it must be uh, it must be you know having a lot of gk questions and aptitude reasoning kind of questions so you must be really sharp right your mind must be really sharp and by now i think you must be knowing a lot of things reading books of course uh, reading books uh, if you talk about the english 
so i am not much interested about the reading book because i always follow in english is a listening part my auditory is strong if i listen something from any other mouth then i covered a lot so but if somebody give the a book no you have to read you have to complete though i just feel like a bore i cannot read if someone convince you if you someone understand me how to convince then i can easily adopt the cheap things so you don't like reading books no i don't like but in the my masters as i uh, cleared you i just uh, taken a, i have taken a english literature there's a lot of 75 books i have covered in english oh my <laughs> but you know yeah, yeah you don't like something like novels or whatever the field you are interested in even those kind of books you don't like no no i that was my subject i cleared you in english literature there's a lot of authors i have cleared as like ravi natago and then thomas and then american literature so subjects i just covered it because i have a subject and i have to read this is my conceptions i have to do this mm, but were the novels or there were something like biographies of the authors the novels did, did you also have to read the books written by those authors yeah of course i read i read i have read on their time but only for the passing the exam gaining a oh. mark that's why i is reading because there are 75 books in a masters mm. so when i have to read everything for the passing the marks i have to cover the slabs i'm not much mm. much in or the any point and the writer but i when i read then i thought they are died but i have to read right now <laughs> yeah but that's the beauty of it right they are still living in our thoughts but when we read their books they are still somewhere there okay they have died still we are remembering them and we are reading their books so they have done really very good job living behind yeah. something of their own uh you describe the beauty that the john kits is written is that sorry john kits a writer who is written in the beauty of the chapter okay no no i am not talking any about any particular book i was just telling the beauty of it is that they are oh. they are, even though they are dead we we have the opportunity to read their books and remember them so they have left a very nice thing for themselves okay so i i just remember, recall right now uh, one uh, i have just read in the last time the one uh, writer poet we can say the john keats they written okay. about the they written about the beauty so i read a lots of things in my master so in this time i recall it if someone just suggest me so yeah i can say that no i have read <laughs> yes yes so everything is there in your mind already mm-hmm. okay yeah then so we can end the session now if you have any other questions you can ask yeah i have want to one question ask to you are you are married yes i am married i have two kids okay so you have a lots of opportunity uh, you have lots of burden also then how do you manage your time because you have to manage your kids also you have to manage your job also and the i think relationships and your family relationship lots of things you have managed so how can you um, take in out your time from the youtube for the youtube you mean to say right yeah as if first of all i don't consider it as a burden i'm very happy doing uh, i'm very happy being a homemaker and i take it more as a responsibility and now my kids have grown up so they go to school obviously so during the day which is around 11 o'clock i uh, by 11 i uh, manage to do all, almost most of my household chores and from 11 to 2:30 or 3 o'clock i'm free so i book my slots only during my free time and even when there are my slots are not booked which i provide to my platform when they are not booked then i come to youtube so and mm-hmm. afterwards like you know during the second half of the day when they come back or when they have finished their homework so over if they are watching tv at that time i do my editing and after they have slept i upload a video that's how i'm managing throughout the day so i don't feel and- it any difficult or anything of such sort and relationships should be such that you know you will be happy having them my husband my in-laws everyone is very supportive and they are not like you know i'm always on my mobile or something like that they don't care much so they are like you do what you want to do so that's how i'm able to manage yeah that's a good if anybody support you then you can do anything what's you want mm-hmm. and what your mind okay so that's mm-hmm. a good one thing is that i would like to ask you what was the question in my mind but <laughs> right now they skip it uh Okay just let it go 
<laughs> okay okay yeah no issues okay it was not lovely talking to you thank you for giving me your precious time even though it is a wedding season you bothered to take some time out to have a session so I very mean, nice i have to attend a haldi ceremony okay okay so it's so enjoy your day thank you for joining okay bye bye take care bye bye